my sounds at the same time. That definitely has the potential to give me some better tingles. Alright, so that was the first two questions. Let's have a look. Those are Korean car horns that you can hear outside right now. I'm living in Seoul, Korea. For now, Westlake Angel asks the question, do I experience ASMR? I guess I already answered that. Thank you. 
hear something. I don't have a cat. I want a cat. I'm not allowed to have a cat. Next question. User ES8X6DE4E asks, What's my favorite trigger? I've heard this question. Okay, and they also ask, And how much per week do you watch ASMR? Oh, that really depends on my mood or if I'm at work. If I'm at work and I'm feeling particularly sleepy or drowsy, I, I know it's counterproductive, but, and I think you guys do it too, but yeah, I'll turn on some ASMR and just indulge. In that case, I could leave it on for a, a few hours, probably. When I'm at home, I'll, I'll listen. Sometimes, when I kind of have that feeling in my brain, like, oh, ASMR would probably feel really good right now. Otherwise, at home, I don't actually listen to it that often. Interesting as it may be. Of course, these days, I'm clicking through ASMR videos all the time, but that's mostly for ideas and research. All right, next question. Now, Brady Calvert 6652 asks, what trigger straight up not do besides the obvious and to that I would say besides the obvious um nothing I don't know you would have to recommend some odd triggers and see if that's a thing as long as it doesn't sound bad or I can't get my hands on the trigger I, d I don't see a problem with most triggers all right number eight Hallie 6260 you, you all have na numbers in your names Hallie 6260 asks where was I for all those years? Which time? Well, two years ago, I was here, but I was also a full-time student, and then I got a full-time job, and I just didn't really see how I could be mm, doing ASMR, uh, especially with the new house figure out where I would even put the studio. This isn't really a studio, but we made it work. Uh, but it wasn't until recently that my brain just kind of clicked, and I thought I could really get this channel going again. So yeah, I mean, just normal, normal life stuff. Hopefully we stick around a bit longer this time. Should be. Okay. Insights. H8092 says, What would I do with one million dollars? Mm, quit my job, but I really don't like not working. I'm one of those people that if I have absolutely no responsibility. I become a bit of a degenerate, so I definitely like to keep making ASMR videos. Be putting some of that money down on better ASMR stuff. Mm, now that I think I know how to use it, that would that would be nice. Oh, and a house. Definitely buying a house, which means I guess uh, depending on the house, I wouldn't have a million dollars anymore, would I? All right. Inter. asks what do you do enjoy in your spare time now you know what that's a difficult question like I just 
I said, I really like to work and be productive, but my favorite hobbies are video games, which, at least for me, makes it very, very hard to be productive. So while I'm doing things like this, working on projects and videos, I have to deny myself those hobbies. But otherwise, video games, uh, RPGs, I've probably played all of them. You name it, I've played Marshmallow Fluff. 34 asks, what are some of your favorite foods? You'd probably be better asking me what are the foods I don't eat.
Nazi from Germany asked a lot of questions. I only wrote a few down. Or will be irrelevant. But the first question she asked was, what is my favorite color? And do I play a musical instrument? My favorite color. I, I really have to think about this one. I Per 
versus the Western European language bases that just do not mesh. You really have to rewire your brain with a lot of practice to get it to flow properly. Definitely, you'll need a speaking partner. Someone to just practice with. And it doesn't have to be a Korean person. You can practice with people from your own country. Just stick to the one language. No cheating. Oh, and as far as what made me decide to do it. Well, I think one day I just found myself really interested in the culture. freshman in college. It, it was quite unique and learning the language or starting to learn the language just <laughs> dragged me down a bit of a rabbit hole. Alright. Ibrahim5562 asks me, I can't say ask, asks me where my inspiration. Well, I'm from Oregon, USA. And as far as my inspirations go, do you all remember the really popular YouTuber Casey Neistat? Yeah, I'd say he got me started on this path. He hasn't talked about ASMR once, but we can't all make the world's coolest vlogs. But yeah, he's very uh, motivational. Now, it looks like we still have some time. So I'm just going to backtrack a few questions from some of you that I didn't have a chance to answer yet. Does pineapple? Caesar salad cooked belong on my pizza because I've eaten all of those and they were pretty good. But yeah, definitely. You like pineapple pizza? It's game over. All right. Another question. was just so calm and whatever it was about it it just really gave me a lot of tingles and almost knocked me out right uh, after that I had to go to Sunday school and I was a little sad because I wanted to listen to the speaker which my parents uh, could not understand I don't want to listen usually. Other than that though, uh, there's, I've just been listening, catching ASMR in different movies and scenes. Sometimes from my parents if they whisper in my ear, you know. I still remember, do you remember that scene from Jurassic Park, the first one? explaining the theory of, uh, well, chaos theory, and he 
guys just doing it so, so quietly for no reason. But that one always gave me some good tingles. And another question was, would I ever consider whispering the names of my subscribers from ear to ear? Well, sure. I never actually thought about it. That's a good trigger concept. You may have noticed, but most of my videos these days, I don't use a single purpose title. Uh, and the reason for that is I like to add many, many different concepts into the video, um, kind of like a compilation, but it's not a compilation because I'm making it at the moment, but it, it's that kind of feeling, so that there's something for everyone. So yeah, next time we do a whisper video, one of those uh, sections should, should definitely be a subscriber whispering. That's a good idea. Another question.
job.